right, ready? Mm -hmm. That go. And welcome back, everyone. To Epic pause. We were just um, we're it, well, yeah. I'm Oops. shade. This is Mad Adam, Adam. and we were just discussing uh, Back to the Future stuff and Sam and Max and oh how yeah, awesome that was uh, games is. Oh yeah, but okay. Now we're going to go back to Doc figuring out that he's going to die soon. Yes. Why would they? Yes, they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan. A plan. Right. Huh. But what? But what? And yet his plan is insane when we actually do this. Now, hold on. This is what I was talking about. Uh, oh, yeah. Hold on. Before we do this, let's talk to the gangsters. Hey, maybe mm -hmm. I can talk to the gangsters. Tell them they're about to shoot the wrong guy. <laughs> I don't think the criminals of this era are going to be very receptive to a complete stranger telling them that their secret assassination plan is misguided. Uh, do you? Yep. Even he says it with a smile. Wow. Because he uh, knows. All right, let's make a stand. Why don't we try to tough it out? Now that we know what's coming, maybe we sneak it past the gangsters with a bulletproof vest or something. That might work with one or two bullets, but from the looks of this article, it appears that I'm going to be mowed down in a hail of atomic gunfire that rendered the innocent stranger little more than a pulpy mass of bones and gristle. Wow. Who writes like that? According to the byline, one Edna Strickland. Oh, oh goody. Wow. Yeah, that's a guessed. big story right there. I should have guessed. So, oh, now here's time travel for you. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Yeah. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc, and you're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Uh, Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we, we know, know it. Exactly. What? So, well, he's talking about that this if he, we go back in time to stop him from going to jail, that would be a paradox. So everything yeah. from the point of us uh, pulling that prank on Biff to going over here would cease to exist. So then we would cease to exist. Then this episode wouldn't even be here? Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> dum 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 so let's make sure that doesn't happen. So, uh, uh, yeah, let's alert the authorities. Why don't we tell the authorities? Tell them what? That my friend from the future has proof that I'll be murdered tomorrow? They'd ship us both off to the loony bin. And trust me, you don't want to see the inside of a 1931 insane asylum. No. No. The bottomies. Yeah. But yeah, let's, I guess I should break well, you I out of jail. suppose just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> That's it! What's it? My rocket-powered drill. drill. You have a rocket-powered drill? Exactly. Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Yeah, Doc. exactly. Yes. A few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great. I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me! 1931 me! Yep. Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill, drill to break you out of jail? Precisely! You know... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, so I love this. So about... Uh, so about the time-space well, continuum? Talking to yourself caused, huh. you know, irreparable damage to the space-time continuum or something? It should be fine. I've already invented the idea of the rocket drill. You've just got to gold my younger self into finishing the prototype. Okay, uh, yep. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to convince uh, you told yourself you. to finish the rocket drill. Just tell him I need to break his older self out of jail? Absolutely not. Whatever you do, you can't tell my younger self anything about time travel. I won't come up with the inspiration for the Flux Capacitor for another 24 years. Yep. Then what am I supposed to- Just be your charming self. What I remember, I'm a pretty easygoing kid, so enlisting me in a scientific adventure should be a piece of cake. Oh my but, um, gosh. Yep. This is making my brain hurt so much. <laughs> like I said, time travel. All right, so where okay. can I find Let's you? Let's say I go along with this yourself. crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why did you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where oh, to find Oh yeah, me. numbers from 1931. There are only six the of them. Yeah. It'll cause damage to your digestive system. Oh yeah. Oh, there's police. And if anyone also knows, that was the same cop that uh, shot at us earlier. Hmm. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. Oh yeah. That's no. not comforting. No. Nope. 
but yep, look at that. 5-1038. So I was only off by one number. Yeah, but like I said, this is <laughs> watch what he says. Round estate. Klondike 51038. Klondike, yeah. now, where's that soup kitchen? What would you do for a Klondike bar? Apparently go back in time to rescue my uh, Oh yeah. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd oh, better make sure it never different. falls into the wrong hands. Episode, but um that's oh. what I want, huh? Uh what? Uh, uh well, like that? Yeah, well the book. I was just gonna make a comment earlier. Thirty years of research compiled into a small notebook like that. Doesn't oh, really if you saw the book, they're all stapled or taped, and every page has like fifteen pages in it. Uh, so yeah, yeah, but here I love this. Ah. <laughs> ah. He's still yeah, straight. Yeah, he just every time he's is a funny little thing. All right, so now it's time to go to the soup kitchen. Now I want to see if I can go to the jail. I mean the. Yep, I can. Hold on, go back, go back, go back. There we go. I remember what happens. It's HYPD. Yep. Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> Can I talk to uh, Carl Sagan? Are you his lawyer? Um, no. no. Then scram. Why did you just lie? I know, that's what I'm saying. He could have just lied. Oh, uh, you're his lawyer? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll go right ahead. Yep. All right, then, so um, we're going to leave. And uh, yep, here's the soup kitchen. Now, watch this. Everyone back then operated Sisters on. of Mercy Soup Kitchen. Come for the soup, stay for the salvation. Oh, uh, yep. the now this bait and switch trick. Oh, yeah, well, because now you're broke about to find out that that's not much of a soup kitchen anymore. Yep, under new management. Aha. Uh -huh. you're about to find out who the new manager is. Edna something. Nope, but she does come in here to get, to, uh, get soup. Uh -huh. So does everybody else. And back to the future. We went to a, a diner to see our father. We're about to go to the soup kitchen to meet our, da da da, our grandfather. Ooh. Yep, there he is. Nice. Yep. Yeah, the sanitation department didn't exist back then. Yeah, or it was very lax. So, oh, make fly. Oh, uh, yep. Uh oh. Biff. Biff, his Good. grandfather. Or his father. Grandpa. Whichever one comes first. That's Mr. Tannen to you, Audie. Yep. What are you doing out here? Well. I was getting kind one. of hungry, what? so I figured I'd come problem. down yep. here for some free one. soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? And look at that smile. Would you? Would you? Uh, no, of course not, kid. Oh, yeah, fedora's oh, everywhere. Right. Yeah. That's better. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the safe house. Well, he was in do here that. for a hurry pretty And much. McFly? He's yes. in hiding, so he's that trying to get on quick, get a, some you soup You better let me hold on to it. Ah. Uh, Oh, yeah. Scram! Oh, so he's the number you got it, boss. Yeah, he's the, the book Don't guy. come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Yep. Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. Yep, because this is a <laughs> another establishment. Oh, this is another moonshine base. Oh, yeah. But, uh, okay, so we're gonna... This is Cue Ball, the guy that was uh, shooting... Uh, well, him and the other guy were shooting at the police officer earlier. Okay. Yep, he's not gonna pay. Hey, um. Never mind. Oh, never mind. <laughs> wow. So, um, but yeah, okay. So there's a spice rack and dirty dishes and all that stuff. But yeah, so there's I think there's only yep one other person here. Now watch this. Watch when I try to talk to this guy. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> yep. All right. So um, uh, there's the kitchen door. There also should be. Uh, where is it? There's supposed to be a weird... Oh, yep, inscriptions. Those who once ate delicacies are destitute in the street. Cheery. <laughs> wow. Lazy hands make a man poor, but diligent hands bring wealth. Maybe that's my problem. Lazy hands. <laughs> I see there's one more Like thing. a thorn bush in a drunkard's hand is a proverb in the mouth of a fool. Heavy. Yep, I think that's it. Well, we were oh, no. born only yesterday and know nothing. And our days on Earth are but a shadow. Actually, I won't be born for about 40 years. So what does that make him? <laughs> Less. Yeah, well, I thought she whisper. was drunk and said to her, How long will you keep on getting drunk? Get rid of your wine. 
Well, I should mind his own business. Yep. Wow. We should take a page from that, but like a thorn bush oh, nope, that's in it. a that's drunkard's the last one. heavy. But we should actually take an epic pause. Oh now. yeah, and before we leave, it's save time. Yeah. All right, da, da, da. all right, ready, set, go. All right, done. <laughs> but right. wow, that just uh, yeah, like there are so it. many questions that are bubbling in my mind that just my brain can't process oh yeah and like i said later on in the episodes they get even funnier and funnier and more wacky because we haven't even gone to the symposium yet no we haven't done anything yet we're still in the first episode of it's about time so oh um, yeah that is it for this episode again i am shade that is the matter and we will see you all in the next episode oh yeah